So the last thing to do to this mesh before we can use the poses on these sliders is connect these poses up that we've made in the negative frames to the character sliders. So go into the command tab and create a new variable here and we'll just call these the name of the sliders and hook them up with cycle branch morph add frame. So this one will be the ah slider and ah is going to use the first slider here so scrub that slider and underneath the expression left click to load that into the buffer. So let's look up cycle branch morph add frame which is in the C's here and the arguments go first object is going to copy its values to the second object and it's going to copy a specific channel or set of channels on a specific frame and it's going to blend that together with a double which is just a number and the number is driven by our slider. So into animate pick our clusters, go back into command, use this little arrow to load the active selection. This cluster is going to copy onto itself from a negative frame to the current keyframe and it's going to copy all of the motion. So make sure that motion is picked and the frame is going to start at negative one and the other frame is going to be the slider, the double. Now this expression's built. Right click and load that in. So now Ah should work if we scrub around on the sliders. Do the same thing for the other ones. We'll do this 11 more times, but we're only going to duplicate this expression and alter it a little bit. So duplicate that. We're still looking at the same cluster. And we're still copying. We're going to change this motion or the state to frame negative 2, and I'm going to change the slider to the Y position slider. Each slider has an internal name and then an external name that we've called it. We've called it A E U F Sneer, but inside Messiah it's X Y Z position, heading pitch bank, X Y Z scale, X Y Z pivot. So that's why they show up as Y position, X position, etc. So this is not the A slider, this is the E slider. Duplicate that again with the multiply key on the keyboard. Change this one to the U slider. Change the frame it's referencing to negative 3, and it's going to use the Z position slider. And now that one's set up. Duplicate that again. Change this U slider to F slider, or the F slider, and it's going to use heading. Make sure that it's lowercase, and it's looking at frame negative 4. Grab the FF, duplicate that. Sneer slider. Sneer slider looks at frame negative 5 and it's using the pitch. Duplicate the sneer. Call this one smile slider. Looks at frame negative 6 and bank. Duplicate that again. The blink slider looks at frame negative 7 and it's using the X scale. Duplicate that again. It's had mad slider. Looks at frame negative eight. Using Y scale. Duplicate that again. Puff slider. Looks at frame negative nine. And Z scale. Let's duplicate that once more. This puff is now curl upper slider looks at frame negative 10 and since I don't know what this is called I'm going to select the curl upper scrub it around so that it's the active channel left mouse click in the buffer and I know that it's called X pivot so just copy that and then select everything in the square brackets and then paste so there should only be one set of square brackets here so frame negative 10 X pivot so curl lower slider goes to frame negative 11 and this is Y pivot. And then the last one, duplicate that squint slider. Looks at frame negative 12. And Z pivot. So we've created 12 expressions that link up the 12 poses to our 12 sliders. So we've taken our duplicate mesh here that has a ton of duplicate objects as morph targets, move those morph targets around, and we've condensed them down into 12 sliders that we can control fairly easily. Let's close all of these down, and I'm going to group this under a blank expression because we can 
do hierarchies here, and we'll just call this one face sliders exp for expressions. Select all of these, parent those under there, and now we can collapse that and add any other expressions to the scene. So now if we hit and animate, all of these sliders should work pretty well. And because they're all set as morph targets, they blend on top of each other pretty well. Now, you take a look at this blink, and the blink is not doing very well. That's because the blink is caused by bad rotation values when we moved our blink here. And there are our upper eyelid left and right. Now, there's one way we can do this is we can, instead of hooking the blink into a state here in frame negative 12, we can fade off that blink in a pose, or we can just try to fix our rotation values. Oh, delete that keyframe on frame negative 7 here. So go back in and look at our eyelid left and right, our upper eyelid. Move to frame negative 7, and let's take a look here. See, we have 120 degrees and 149 degrees on heading and bank, and heading and bank gimbal lock faster. So if we zero those out, this is what we get. Let's get rid of that too. So now we have no rotates on here just to translate. Let's try this again. So if we bank that, and pitch it down just a little bit, and heading and bank do the same thing once pitch has moved down 90 degrees. And that's where our problem came in. So let's try to use the Y translate and the Z translate instead to get our closed blink. That looks a lot better. So we have lesser values in here, 4.75, 74, and negative 13 degrees. So let's just copy that into the left eyelid, which is the same value as 4.75. Let's go click to the eyelid, 74 and, then, and negative 13.5. So type in 74 and then negative 13.5. Well, see that looks a little different there. So let's check and make sure that this is correct. So let's turn off the bank and make that a positive value. Same thing with heading. And move the Y down and the Z. Okay, so now let's move back into positive frames. We'll pick our control face slider here and then try the blinks now. Now the blinks work. We can move them in negative positions and they'll move up. And so the blinks are correct. Let's delete that. Clean up our scene a bit. Make sure this is inside the character null. So we can close down the character null. Let's zero out all of our sliders here. Reset the keyframes. Make sure we have them all set to full on our face. And our control. Reset those. Okay. Let's go to File and save this scene as AT Morph 9.